This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book. And will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C. They're sitting at a table is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. She's searching in her handbag. B. She's looking in a display case. C. She's paying for a purchase. D. She's holding some flowers. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The man is switching off a lamp. B. The man is opening some curtains. C. The man is seated by a window. D. The man is hanging some photographs on the wall. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. Some chairs are arranged in a circle. B. Some stairs are being cleaned. C. A roof is being repaired. D. A tree is being trimmed. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. One of the women is wearing a scarf. B. The women are talking to each other. C. The man is pouring coffee into a cup. D. The people are closing their menus. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. A notice is being hung on a post. B. The women are walking toward a doorway. C. The man is changing a bicycle tire. D. A basket is being removed from a cart. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. A shop assistant is giving a man some money. B. Some people are entering a supermarket. C. A cashier is putting merchandise into a bag. D. Some customers are waiting in line. Go on to the next page. Part 2 Directions You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 7. Number 7. 
When did you buy your new phone? A. The store is close to my house. B. Last week when it was on sale. C. I think it's the same number. Number 8. Do you know where Keiko's office is? A. That's the official logo. B. To reserve a room. C. It's on the second floor. Number 9. That was a short movie, wasn't it? A. The theatre on Glen Road. B. You're right, it was only an hour. C. I must have misplaced it. Number 10. Where can I find a building directory? A. In two weeks. B. No, thank you. C. Near the front entrance. Number 11. Who's going to lead the merger negotiations? A. John Sanchez is. B. Thanks, I appreciate it. C. No, that's not mine. Number 12. How do I contact the financial consultant? A. A free consultation. B. He left his business card. C. In a few more days. Number 13. When is the health inspector coming? A. Any time this week. B. It's good for your health. C. At the back door. Number 14. Wasn't this assignment due last week? A. It's taking longer than we thought. B. Sign at the bottom of the page. C. No, you don't need permission. Number 15. Whose turn is it to buy coffee? A. Two sugars, please. B. In the kitchen. C. I already bought it. Number 16. Where will the company retreat be next year? A. Every year. B. It hasn't been decided yet. C. Yes, I've been there. Number 17. Let's discuss the building designs this morning. A. We can do it this afternoon instead. B. The sign on the wall. C. Does he work in that building too? Number 18. Why is there a cake sitting out on the front desk? A. The potted plant on the ground. B. I'll answer the phone. C. Because Barb's party is today. Number 19. How are we going to move all of these office chairs? A. Sergio will help us. B. Across the hallway. C. Have a seat by the window. Number 20. Have you gone to the leadership training yet? A. A new training manual. B. Sure, we can leave some for you. C. I didn't know it was required. Number 21. Why don't we start marketing to a younger audience? A. That's a really good idea. B. The film starts at 9. C. 15 should be enough. Number 22. What kind of tablet computer do you have? A. I have a few more minutes. 
B. An electronics store nearby. C. Are you thinking of buying one? Number 23. Wouldn't you rather travel somewhere during your time off? A. A round trip ticket for $2,000. B. I'm planning to paint my house. C. I would follow up with Sahar. Number 24. You gave the customers the bill, didn't you? A. A reliable delivery service. B. That's an impressive offer. C. Hasn't the payment arrived yet? Number 25. How soon can you finish the Sterling report? A. He's a reporter there. B. I'll be done before lunch. C. Please make ten copies. Number 26. Would you like your receipt now, or shall I put it in the bag? A. Just put it in my bag, thanks. B. About 25 euros. C. That's a great-looking sweater. Number 27. The registration deadline is on Friday. A. Where did you hear that? B. They arrived already. C. Yes, I'd like to. Number 28. Your airline has an overnight flight to Delhi, doesn't it? A. The nearest train station. B. Yes, it departs at 8 p.m. C. Usually at a hotel downtown. Number 29. I can't seem to open the file you sent me. A. Yes, the post office is still open. B. Sorry, I'll try sending it again. C. We can't see that far either. Number 30. Would you like to include breakfast in your room reservation? A. Sure, that'll be fine. B. Check-in is at 3 o'clock. C. A view of the ocean if possible. Number 31. Should I print copies of the budget for the meeting or email it to everyone? A. The last page of the order form. B. $4 million this year. C. Everyone there will have a laptop. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Thanks for calling Riverside Auto Repair. How can I help you? Hi. I got my car repaired last week and used your shuttle service to get a ride back to my office. Can you tell me why there's a service charge on my invoice for using the shuttle? I've never had to pay that before. Yes. Unfortunately, the cost of auto fuel has risen quite a bit. So the company now requires us to charge for the shuttle. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I'm sorry we didn't inform you of this ahead of time. I'll waive the fee now, but please be aware that you'll have to pay for rides in the future. Number 32. Why is the woman calling? Number 33. According to the man, what has recently changed? Number 34. 
What does the man agree to do? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. In sports news, our own Easton Jaguars won today's soccer match against the Portville Lions. Here to tell us about the game is Aaron Parker, the goalkeeper for the Jaguars. Mr. Parker, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Today's game was challenging. It started to rain early on, and the storm didn't let up for nearly an hour. There were several times when we lost control of the ball because the field was so wet and slippery. Well, you all played really well despite the weather. Now it's time for a commercial break, but stay tuned. We'll soon be back with Aaron Parker to talk about the game's most exciting moments. Number 35. What is the topic of the conversation? Number 36. What caused a problem? Number 37. What will the listeners hear next? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Paul. I know we were planning to work at the trade show together next week, but something has come up. Do you think you could find someone else to go in my place? Sure, that can probably be arranged. Can I ask why you are unable to go? My department recently hired several new people, and I want to be here to make sure that their training goes smoothly. I understand. I'll call Ramona and ask her if she'd be able to attend the show instead. Number 38. What does the woman notify the man about? Number 39. According to the woman, what recently happened in her department? Number 40. What does the man say he will do next? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. I'd like to book two tickets for tonight's city bus tour. Sure, we still have seats on the bus. This tour will stop at five different sites and end up at the Seven Stars restaurant. Oh, that sounds good. A friend of mine is visiting from out of town. He'll like that. Yes, but we have to put in the order for the restaurant in advance. You have a choice between the chicken with vegetables or the beef with rice. We'll both have the chicken. Here are your tickets. And by the way, we're expecting clear skies tonight. You'll definitely want to bring your camera. You won't want to miss taking photos of the city's skyline. Number 41. What does the man want to do? Number 42. What is the man asked to choose? Number 43. What does the woman suggest doing? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Seba. Do you need help taking those files up to our office? It looks like you have your hands full. If you don't mind, that'd be great. The elevator is still out of order, so we'll have to use the stairs. But that broke last week. The maintenance crew should have repaired that by now. Well, apparently, a piece of hardware had to be custom-made. Ah, I see. Well, at least our office is only on the second floor, so we don't have to climb too many stairs. That's true. Thanks again for carrying some of these files. It would have taken two trips to get them all without your help. Number 44. What does the man offer to do?
Number 45. According to the man, what happened last week? Number 46. Why does the woman say, A piece of hardware had to be custom made? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. All right, let's start the meeting. How are our clothing sales for June? Well, sales went up 3% from last month, but customers didn't respond as well as usual to our big semi-annual sale. I was hoping for a 5% increase. Donna, why do you think the increase was so small? I think clothing sales weren't as strong because the advertising budget was cut this year. I'd like to see that money put back into our budget. Hmm. Let's wait another month. If sales are still low, we may have to increase the advertising budget, but I prefer to wait on that decision. Number 47. What product are the speakers discussing? Number 48. What does Donna suggest? Number 49. What does the man propose? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Dan. You've been training with us for a couple of months now. As your mentor, I'd like to hear how your apprenticeship's been going. It's been going well. I've enjoyed learning the different techniques for metal welding, and I like seeing the finished products. I'm glad to hear that. There are still a few weeks left in your training program, but you know, your work is so good that we've decided to offer you a promotion when your training is complete. That's great news. I'd be happy to be part of the team here. Number 50. Who most likely is the man? Number 51. What does the woman ask the man for? Number 52. What will the man receive? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Well, Dietrich, we're looking forward to seeing you here in our Munich office next Tuesday. We can't wait to see the latest design plans for the company's new lightweight tablet. Thanks. There's one feature of the tablet that I'm especially pleased with. Really? What is it? This model has our best battery life ever. It can now operate for three full days on a single charge. That's incredible. I'm excited to hear more about this during your presentation. By the way, we made a dinner reservation for our department that evening. Actually, my favorite singer is performing that night. That's okay. We'll see you soon. Number 53. What type of product is being discussed? Number 54. Which product feature is the man most proud of? Number 55. Why does the man say, My favorite singer is performing that night. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Welcome to the Westfield Hotel. I'm the event coordinator, and this is my associate, Diane. So, you'd like to host an event here? Yes. I work for the National Journalists Association. We're planning our annual awards banquet for June for about 100 guests. Well, we have a beautiful ballroom on this floor that I can show you. It's been used for award ceremonies before. Okay. 
Also, about half of our guests will be coming from out of town. Do you have enough rooms available for them to stay here? I'm sure we do, but we'll check and send you a quote for a group rate. And additionally, we do offer free shuttle service to and from the airport. Number 56. What type of event is being planned? Number 57. What does the man ask about? Number 58. What does the hotel offer for free? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, my mobile phone is out of power. Are there any tables here at the cafe that are near a wall socket so I can charge my phone while I have some coffee? Well, we only have a few outlets and... It looks like all the tables near them are occupied. I'm sorry about that. Hmm. In that case, can you suggest anywhere nearby where I might be able to sit for a few minutes and charge my phone then? You know, the public library would be perfect for that, and it's just a block up the hill. You'll see it on the corner of Willow Street. Number 59. What problem does the man mention? Number 60. Where are the speakers? Number 61. What does the woman suggest the man do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and table. Mary, I'm working on the bill for one of Dr. Singh's patients, and I keep getting an error message for the code I'm using. Oh, the billing code's recently changed. You must be referring to the old list. Do you have the updated one? Yes, right here. Which procedure is it? A uh, blood test. All right. Here's the code you should use. Thanks. Could I get a copy of that list? Sure. But I heard they'll be adding the codes to our billing software soon, so we won't need to deal with paper lists anymore. Number 62. What is the man having trouble with? Number 63. Look at the graphic. Which code should the man use? Number 64. What does the woman say will happen soon? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and label template. Pedro, there's a lot of interest in our new line of women's dresses planned for the spring. It looks like there will be a lot of demand, so we'd better increase production to be sure we have a supply of all garment sizes. In that case, I suggest we let the Human Resources Department know that we'll need more workers. Right. I'll give them a call now. OK, great. And I was just working on the labels. In fact, the template for the label is up on my computer screen. Can I see? Oh, wait. These garments are 100% cotton, so they shouldn't be washed in warm water. OK, I'll make that change now. Number 65. What does the woman say they will need to do? Number 66. What does the man suggest? Number 67. Look at the graphic. Which section of the label will the man need to revise?
Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and office park map. Hi, Mr. Foster. This is Kasumi Ito, the hiring manager at Silverby Industries. We've reviewed your job application and would like you to come in for an interview. Are you available Tuesday at 2 p.m. next week? Thanks for getting back to me. Let me check my calendar. Yes, I can do that. Good. Now, Silverby Industries is in a business complex. Our building is on Tinley Avenue, and we're right next to the lake. Thanks. And am I able to park anywhere, or will I need a permit? Just make sure you're in a space-marked visitor, and you won't get a parking violation. Number 68. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which building is Silverby Industries located in? Number 70. What does the woman tell the man about parking? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. Attention all listeners. Palmer's Gym now has several locations in your area. We have everything you need to keep fit, including exercise classes and fitness instructors ready to help you. But that's not all. Starting in April, your membership gives you access to any of our locations across the country. So if you're traveling for business or just on vacation, you won't have to skip your workout routine. Visit our website to see a map of all the Palmer's Gym locations across the nation. Number 71. What type of business is being advertised? Number 72. What will the listeners be able to do starting in April? Number 73. Why does the speaker invite the listeners to visit a website? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Before we end this meeting, I want to thank everyone for the extra hours you've put in getting our new line of camera accessories ready for market. Because of your willingness to work overtime, the new products will be ready in time for the trade show coming up next month in Shanghai. That's in addition to the accessories we usually display, but it shouldn't be a problem. We've reserved a booth at the front of the exhibition hall this year, and it's a large space. Number 74. Why does the speaker thank the listeners? Number 75. According to the speaker, what is scheduled for next month? Number 76. What does the speaker imply when she says, It's a large space. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Good evening. My name's Matteo, and I'll be serving you tonight. Since this is your first time here, let me tell you about our restaurant. All the vegetable products you see on the menu come from our very own vegetable garden. The owner of the cafe, Natasha, is a talented gardener who grows our fresh produce herself. 
Now, tonight we have a special entree. It's poached salmon, caught fresh today. It's a simple dish, served with a lemon sauce and a salad. I eat it all the time. So, while you read over the menu, can I bring you a beverage? Number 77. According to the speaker, what is special about the restaurant? Number 78. Who is Natasha? Number 79. Why does the speaker say, I eat it all the time? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Welcome aboard this morning's direct flight to Toronto. We look forward to flying with you today. Unfortunately, we've run out of space in the overhead bins for larger carry-on bags. If your bag won't fit under your seat, we'll take it from you and check it. You'll be able to pick it up at the baggage claim when we land. In addition, we have several meal options for purchase today. Our standard selections are listed in the magazine in the seat pocket in front of you. If you would like to purchase a meal, please notify a flight attendant. Number 80. Where is the announcement being made? Number 81. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 82. According to the speaker, why should the listeners talk with a staff member? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, it's Dana, one of your truck drivers. I'm supposed to deliver kitchen appliances to our store branches in Syracuse. I'm looking for one of the branches, and according to the list I was given, there should be a store at 33 Thistle Lane. Well, I've driven up and down the whole road, and all I see are houses. I'll deliver the appliances to the other stores on my list, but while I'm doing that, could you please get back to me with the correct address? Number 83. Who is the speaker? Number 84. What does the company sell? Number 85. What does the speaker imply when she says, All I see are houses. Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. Good afternoon. My name is Lawrence Wilson, and I'll be conducting the training on how to use our company's new scheduling software, Spark Schedule. The reason we chose this particular software is because it makes it easy for you to schedule meetings with people in different time zones. That way we can conduct business with our increasing number of clients all over the world. And best of all, there's a mobile phone application that you can download for free. This will allow you to check your schedule from any location. Number 86. What is the talk mainly about? Number 87. Why did the company choose the product? Number 88. What does the speaker say is offered with the product? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following broadcast. This is Guo Lin with KDM-TV News. Tonight there's news about the Ashworth City Light Rail. 
Work continues on this massive construction project, but the announcement of new federal safety regulations means that major modifications must be made to the tracks. Opening day could be delayed by as much as three months. Public opinion about the railway is already divided. Some residents say they don't approve of how much money is being spent on the project, but others say it's worth the cost. I'm here at the Fourth Street station, where I'll ask a few passers-by how they feel about this latest development in the project. Number eighty-nine. What does the speaker say has recently been announced? Number ninety. According to the speaker, why do some people dislike a construction project? Number ninety one. What will the speaker do next? Questions ninety two through ninety four refer to the following announcement. First of all, we know you have a busy schedule outside of work, so thanks for coming into the warehouse today to work on a Saturday. Okay, so we're here because this extra shipment was delivered yesterday. There are hundreds of boxes, and we have to check what's inside them and put the information into our warehouse database. Now, I'm going to assign you all to groups. Once you have your group number, go ahead and join your group members. Group leaders will tell you which boxes you'll be working on. Number ninety-two. What does the speaker thank the listeners for? Number ninety-three. In which division do the listeners most likely work? Number ninety-four. What does the speaker say he will provide? Questions ninety-five through ninety-seven refer to the following news report and weather forecast. And now an event we've all been waiting for since last year: Danville's annual cook-off, held outside at City Park. The cook-off always attracts a lot of participants. Competitors prepare one dish, which they serve throughout the day. A panel of judges will select the winners based on taste, presentation, and uniqueness. This event is great fun for the whole family, and entry and food samples are free. If you're interested in participating, the contest registration form is available on the city's website. Now, keep in mind we're expecting a cloudy day for this year's event. We won't see any sunshine, so be sure to bring a jacket. Number ninety-five. What event is being described? Number ninety-six. According to the speaker, what can the listeners find on a website? Number ninety-seven. Look at the graphic. Which day is the event being held? Questions ninety-eight through one hundred refer to the following telephone message and conference schedule. This is Sung Ho Park from Park Investors. We met last month at the West Side Technology Conference. I attended your interesting presentation and spoke to you afterward about my small investment firm. I'm calling because I'd like to hire you to discuss ways to make my company's database more secure. I know you specialize in this type of work, and I'm hoping you'll be interested in this project. Could you please email me a list of your consultant fees? Use the email address on the business card I gave you. Thanks. Number ninety-eight. What is the purpose of the call? Number ninety-nine. Look at the graphic. Who is the speaker calling?
Number 100. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? This is the end of the listening test. End of recording.